a feud between rival gangs on the Woodchurch and Beechwood estates, on either side of the M53 in Wirral, had escalated. The 23rd of December 2022, Kieran Sorkald and Jake Duffy, from the Beechwood estate, attacked a man from another gang, Sam Searson, in the street. The 24th of December 2022, Beautician, 26-year-old Ellie Edwards was out with friends on Christmas Eve, enjoying the atmosphere at the Lighthouse Pub in Wallasey Village, Merseyside. Also there were gang members Kieran Sorkald and Jake Duffy, as well as rival gang member Connor Chapman who lay in wait outside the pub in a stolen Mercedes A-Class. He waited for almost three hours before firing a Scorpion submachine gun, capable of firing 15 rounds a second, in the direction of Sorkald and Duffy, both of whom were seriously injured in the shooting. Three other men who were unconnected to the feud, Harry Loughran, Liam Carr and Nicola Speed, were also injured in the shooting. Ellie Edwards had come outside for a cigarette and was caught in the middle of the feud and was shot by Chapman as he fired the submachine gun into the crowded area outside the bar. Ellie was hit in the head with two bullets and died instantly. Chapman drove the stolen Mercedes on false plates to friend and accomplice house, Thomas Waring, where he hid the car and left the gun, he then returned home, destroying his clothes, shoes and mobile phone. The 31st of December 2022, Chapman and accomplice Thomas Waring retrieve the Mercedes car and drive it a short distance before setting fire to it to destroy any evidence. The 10th of January 2023, as the police investigation intensified, Chapman had fled to a holiday home in Montgomery in Wales. He was arrested at a Tesco store in Newtown in Wales, he told officers, it wasn't me. Chapman answered no comment in police interviews but gave a prepared statement in which he said he was at home in Houghton Road, Wood Church, at the time of the shooting. The 13th of June 2023, trial starts at Liverpool Crown Court in front of Mr Justice Goose. Chapman told the jury he had not been using the Mercedes, which he described as a pool car for him and other criminals, on the night of the murder but had given the car key to another man, whom he then refused to name. However, CCTV footage showed Chapman driving away from the Lighthouse pub in the minutes after the shooting, then arriving at Private Drive in Barnes Tun, the home of Waring. He was then seen in the footage appearing to drop the gun as he walked towards Waring's home. CCTV also showed Chapman lurking in the car park at the Lighthouse, and shows the actual murder taking place. Thursday 6 July 2023, jury sent out to consider a verdict, the jury retired for just 3 hours 48 minutes before returning the verdicts. Friday 7 July 2023, both men were convicted following the three-and-a-half-week trial sentencing. Chapman was jailed for 22 years for the murder and attempted murders of L, Kieran Sorkald and Jake Duffy, 7 years for wounding, 18 months for assault, 15 years for possession of a firearm and 3 years for stolen property. The sentences will run concurrently totaling to 48 years. Chapman is eligible to apply for parole on 26 November 2070, when he will be aged 70. Thomas Waring, aged 20, was found guilty of the possession of a prohibited firearm and assisting an offender by helping to burn out the stolen Mercedes used in the shooting. Waring was jailed for nine years for possession of a prohibited weapon and assisting an offender. Thank you for watching. Murder UK is a website dedicated to giving the facts about murders and serial killers within the UK. Please consider subscribing and press that bell icon to be notified when we update new videos. Thank you.